Hi there and welcome to this video from Smart Home Center about the Philips Hue Bridge Pro, the new Philips Hue Essential line and some new features like matter over thread support for some of the light bulbs from Philips Hue, but also motion aware, a new way to add a motion sensor to your smart home by just using your Hue lights. So the Philips Hue Bridge Pro now also supports Wi-Fi next to Ethernet. It is powered by a USB-C cable. It has a better chip and it can now connect up to 150 lights, 500 light scenes and 50 plus accessories. Next to this, it now also supports motion aware and motion aware is a capability of Philips Hue lights, which you can use as a motion sensor. So as soon as you have three or more Philips Hue lights, you can basically set up a automation that as soon as you walk into a room, these lights register that you're there and you can turn on your lights. As you can see, the Philips Hue Bridge Pro also has a matter code, so it supports matter, so you can add it to the Apple Home app or Google Home app or other smart home platforms that support matter like Home Assistant. It comes with a power cord with USB-C and an, also an Ethernet cable, but you could also use Wi-Fi to place it anywhere you like. While the previous version, the regular U-Bridge Pro, had to use Ethernet to connect it to your internet. However, it's still recommended to use Ethernet as this is mostly the re reliable way to uh, connect your U-Bridge to make sure you have the best connection. Next to the U-Bridge Pro, you also have the U-Essential line. This is basically a more affordable line from Philips U. Uh, it is a white and color ambience line which is both uh, using Zigbee and Bluetooth, but also Thread. So new is that you know, can now also directly connect this light bulb to your smart home without a Philips Hue bridge using the matter code on the device. In that case, it uses Thread, while in other cases with the Hue bridge, you use Zigbee. And you can just basically switch anytime you like uh, from Zigbee and the Philips Hue bridge to, to matter over Thread. So now let's add the Philips Hue Bridge Pro to the Philips Hue app. Here we go to the devices in the bridge and we have to scan the QR code on the back of the device. You have to choose if you use the network cable or Wi-Fi. In this case we'll use Wi-Fi and we'll connect to the bridge. It will take a bit for the bridge to be found by the Philips Hue app and afterwards we have to connect it by entering our Wi-Fi password. So now it's searching for the Bridge Pro. And we have to wait for a bit until it connects. And here it's connecting and now it's successfully connected over Bluetooth. Here we'll connect it also to Wi-Fi. It will find your Wi-Fi network and you have to enter your password code and you'll have to press the button on top of the device to connect it. After a bit you have to do a second press and then your bridge is connected to your Philips Hue account. Then you go to a few settings and now you have the Philips Hue Bridge Pro in your Philips Hue app connected. In the settings of the Bridge Pro you can also migrate your previous bridge and it basically migrates all your devices, automations, rooms, zones, zones scenes, etc. Uh, we'll skip that for now. Here you see the Philips Hue Bridge Pro and we can add some lights to this. So we'll add our new Hue Essential lights to this bridge, to a test room. For now I'll use the serial number of one of the lights to connect it. And it will search for the lights and in a bit it will find the light too. Yes, here it is. Now we can add this to the U app, but we'll also add two other lights to be able to use Motion Aware, which is an exclusive feature of the U Bridge Pro. Well, the other two lights we'll add using a QR code. 
So you can scan the QR code on the light bulb and you can just scan them all together and then add them to the U app. They're all connected. You can rename them, add some settings and now we have three light bulbs added to the U-Bridge Pro. As you can see, they are split between the U-Bridge and the U-Bridge Pro. You can exactly see which lights are connected to what bridge. Now you can go to devices and create a motion area. This is to uh, set up motion aware. Here you need to choose the U-Bridge Pro because the regular U-Bridge does not support this. And here I choose my three available lights that I connected to the hub. It will show some instructions how to set this up. And ideally you have uh, a few lights spread it all over the room. So it basically covers a large area as motion aware works by seeing the disruption in the Zigbee signal towards the U bridge. After setting this up, you need to calibrate the area. This you have to do by leaving the room and then it will set a sort of a baseline of the radio signals. And this way it can see any disturbance in this baseline when you enter a room. This takes about 20 seconds and afterwards you can set up the rest of your automations based on motion. Now the area is created and then you can choose what you want to do. You want to send alerts, but you can also control your lights, what we will do now. We want to control the lights in our test room. And here you can choose what will happen in which time window. I'll leave this like this for now. So here you can see that you can also say that you want to turn the lights off after 10 minutes after the motion or you can also say you just want to leave them on, on or return to the previous settings. You can also change the motion sensitivity and also if you want to turn on the lights during daylight. Now the automation is set up and the motion area is there. Now let's turn off the three lights that I have in this motion area to test this automation. So now all the lights are turned off. I'll leave the room and I'll enter the room again to see if it triggers the lights to go on. And here you see that it has detected motion just now and the lights are turned on. So basically, if you walk into a room, your lights will automatically turn on when you're there. So this means that you don't need a separate motion sensor to set this up. And it will, can just work with your current regular U-bulbs. You can set this up in every area that you like, but you do need at least three U-lights to set this up. Because otherwise it cannot uh, detect uh, it correctly. And you of course need the U-Bridge Pro because the regular bridge does, is not able to uh, process these uh, triggers. So now let's add the Philips U Essential bulb to Apple HomeKit. I first removed one light from the U app and then basically using the matter code on the device, I can add this to Apple HomeKit without needing a U-Bridge at all. After entering the matter code, it will try to connect and in a while it will add it to the Apple Home in Apple Home Kit. So you can choose the location of the light, choose the name, and now it's available in Apple Home Kit. And now I can also control the light by turning it off on, dim the light, but also choose all the colors I want. As it's white in color ambience, you can choose basically every color there is. As you can see, it basically reacts instantly, instantly when I turn off or turn on the, the light, but, but also when I change the light color. So it also using matter over thread, it works instantly 
and you, you basically see no delay when controlling the device using the Apple HomeKit app, in this case using an iPad. Now here you also see the Philips Hue light in my overview where I can turn it on and turn it off to test the light and control it. And here you can also see all the settings of the light and you can also turn on the pairing mode and share the light with other smart home platforms with matter like Google Home or Samsung Smart Things or Home Assistant. Now let's also add the Philips Hue Bridge Pro over matter to Apple HomeKit. So I still have two of my essential lights connected to the Bridge Pro over Zigbee and I want to also control them in Apple HomeKit. So this you can do by adding the bridge. We'll add it to the living room and it will also directly detect all the connected lights. In this case, the second and the third light. And it also supports adaptive lighting in Apple HomeKit. Now the bridge is connected. It will take a minute for you to set everything up in Apple Home. And after a while, and this is finished, you can start to control your lights in Apple HomeKit, but also add your lights in automations using all kinds of sensors, but also other um, triggers to uh, turn on or turn off your lights. The system is now ready, so let's check it out in Apple HomeKit. Here you see the U-Bridge with two connected accessories. Here you can turn off and turn on the lights, and like with the matter over thread support, it works instantly. So if you want to learn more about the Philips U-Bridge Pro or the U-Essential line, please check our website. I've added a link in the description, and I've also added links if you want to purchase this device. If you have any questions on one of these devices, drop a comment below and I'll make sure to respond. Thanks for watching.